Hi guys, Tish here from Black Sheep Finance and today we're going to be going through a case study showcasing one of the many debt reduction strategy, strategies we use called the snowball strategy. Now debt reduction is one of my favorite strategies to work on with clients because even though I hate math, I love the power of numbers and it also gives me an opportunity to significantly make an impact on someone's life to help them get it from a place of despair and anxiety to one of relief and control. But before I get into that, for those of you who don't know me, as I said, my name is Tish Norton. I'm a mortgage broker, more affectionately referred to as a mortgage whisperer. I'm a renovator, soon to be owner builder, and I created Black Sheep Finance because I'm passionate about financial education and helping good people make good choices. And whilst we help people get mortgages, we much prefer to help people pay them off. So the case study we're going through today is a strategy that we developed for a couple which will have them clear their personal debts of $64,000 in 28 months, plus have them pay off their mortgage in a total of less than 10 years time, all without affecting their current lifestyle. Now, please note, we do have permission from these clients to share the situation, but of course their personal details will be kept private. And I must also insert a disclaimer here that what I'm about to show you is general advice only, and not to be taken as financial advice as to what you should do as everyone's situation is different. So I repeat, this is not financial advice. You should consider seeking independent legal, financial, taxation, or other advice to check how this information relates to your unique circumstances. End of disclaimer. Okay, so what is the snowball strategy? Essentially, it's finding a lump sum of money and targeting that onto one debt at a time, then as the debt gets paid off, the snowball or lump of money increases in size and your debts get paid off in a cascading manner that gets faster and more powerful with each debt that is repaid. Now this is not a one size fits all approach. It depends entirely on your position, how much debt you have, how much equity you have, the interest rates, terms, how many debts, and if you're currently experiencing hardship, etc., etc. So the method I'm about to show you is what worked with these people, not necessarily what will work for you so let's get into it step one okay which is hopefully you can read this step one list all debts you want to list them out the balance the rate the term your minimum repayment and more importantly your current repayment these are the numbers that we work with to create this strategy so this is definitely not a diy approach where, hey, watch this video and you're gonna be fine. This is what we need to be able to draft a strategy from a, a summary of your debt position. So these particular clients, they had <coughs> six debts in total. They had their own occupied mortgage, an investment property mortgage, car loan, personal loan, uh, and two credit cards. So we listed all those debts. Then we found out the interest rates were the terms, uh, the current repayment, and what they were actually paying. Now, it's important to know that after we looked at their position, we actually did a deep dive into their position and particularly the investment property. Um, and we established that um, the investment property for them, it would be best to actually sell because they were kind of trapped in that mortgage. They weren't able to refinance. And this is what's really critical when we look at debt reduction uh, because debt consolidation is a strategy where you roll your debts into one, but that requires you to have enough equity. So in this case, the clients didn't have enough equity, which is why we looked at the snowball strategy. So in this case, we are deleting the investment property from this strategy. Um, I'll be doing a, a case study next week all about how to find out if your investment property is a lemon and whether you should sell or not. I'll be using my own personal investment property as an example in that case study. Um, so what's important is that the reason why um, I guess I got called or given the term mortgage whisper is because as soon as I saw these numbers, I instantly knew where the clients were going wrong and what change we had to make because numbers speak to me. I look at them and go, okay, well, this is what's going wrong. This is what you need to do. So the things that stood out to me was their current mortgage. The minimum repayment was 1800 and they were paying more than they had to. Now that's great if you have no other personal debts, but personal debts have a much shorter term and a much higher interest rate. 
So realistically, again, not a one size fits all, but you should be targeting personal debt and smashing that before even contemplating putting extra on your home loan. And the other thing that stood out to me was their interest rate. Now these numbers are a little bit old. This scenario came from a year ago, um, but what we looked at at the current time that we looked at this, the interest rate available to them was 3.69. So straight away we saw an easy savings um, with, with just one debt. With all the other debts they were paying the minimum, which is why there's no numbers here, and they were paying more off their um, this credit card, and rightly so because it has the highest interest rate. So it's almost 25%. This is what's called interest-free. It's interest-free for a while, but if you don't pay it off, then the interest rate is horrendous. So uh, once we have it laid out as what the interest rates are and the amounts, the strategy will change depending on the amounts because typically some strategies state take the smallest debt first because then you get a easier win and some other strategies state take the highest interest rate first. It just so happens that in this client's case, the smallest loan or smallest debt owing was the highest interest rate. So that was kind of a no brainer. All right. So what we did was you list, listed out the debts first. So that's step one is you just, you just need to document it, right? Step two is establishing your snowball. So this is where you need to get a lump sum from somewhere. So clearly the lump sum we were able to establish was from that home loan. So not only was there a $600 difference in the existing loan, by refinancing we were able to increase that snowball to $837. Now, because we were targeting the smallest and highest percentage loan first, we didn't need to adjust uh, this next one. So our snowball, our first lump sum started at 837, right? So that's establishing your snowball. Next step, apply that to debt one, meaning which debt are you going to pay off first? So you grab that lump sum. So what we did is we're gonna refinance this out get them back to a low repayment over a new 30 year term. Before you scream, oh Tish, you can't refinance onto the 30 year term because that's bad. We still include the mortgage in the debt reduction strategy as you'll see. So we pay off for the personal debts first and then we smash the mortgage, bringing that 30 year loan term down significantly. All right, so debt one, we've got the 837 plus the 500, so they're already paying extra off. The minimum is only 240. So it's a critical thing that in this strategy, if they were paying more, you need to put all your debts back down to the minimum. Minimum on everything except the one that you're targeting. So the whole idea is you're taking the full force of all your money and you're smashing it off one debt at a time. So once, and obviously, you know, this one's only four and a half thousand, so that's going to go super quick. Once that is paid off, we then have a new snowball which gives us to step four. Once paid, take the new biggest noble and apply it to debt two. This is where we get the cascading effect. So debt two, we decided to target was the car because um, it was almost the next lowest amount owing, but it also had a slightly higher interest rate than this credit card, which was 5.19. They got a linked credit card to the home loan, which is why it was uh, such a low rate for a credit card. So again, over here, you can see the snowball increasing only tiny amounts so you probably can't read it but over time your snowball increases so you pay off one debt you take that new payment so you're paying a minimum here you have your snowball once that debt is paid you've got that minimum you were paying that now gets rolled into that snowball which you can apply to the next debt and so on and so on so what happened with these guys is after paying off all their personal debts they now had a new snowball of Oh, just over $3,000, $3,053 was their new snowball. Their minimum payment on their home loan they were still paying is $1,563. So in total, they've now got over $4,500 as a giant snowball. And this is where step five is really important. Obviously rinse and repeat to get through all your personal debts, but a lot of people stop and they go, oh, and they fall back into bad habits because they've got all this excess money now, all their personal debts are gone and they relax. Step five is the most important. So if these guys were to keep going, they would have their home loan paid off in less than 10 years, right? That is crazy. And then 
after that mortgage is paid off, what we encourage people to do is now you've got four and a half thousand dollars per month, you can save that now. Imagine what lifestyle you're gonna have and how much earlier you can retire if you pay a mortgage off in 10 years. Like that's insane, right? So that's what we encourage is that get your snowball, clear all your personal debt, smash your mortgage, and then just keep going. That is the key, guys. Commitment is well. So hopefully you've enjoyed that and it's been a little bit insightful. Obviously, debt reduction strategies are very specific to individual people. So if you yourself would like a strategy developed for you, then please get in touch with Jason or myself and we'd be happy to help you out. Hopefully you've enjoyed that. If you have, like, comment, share, tell us what you think. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Tish Norton. Have a great night and I'll see you soon.